I went back and read this, and it's as bad as he think as he's describing it here. It's as bad as that. <laughs> um, what they say in this article, and how they're trying to attach Bernie and AOC to Lula, and Lula, don't get me wrong, he's not even that far left himself, but he's leaps and bounds for further left than AOC and and Bernie Sanders. Um, this article is is is. You, you need some Pepto to read it. The role that Jacobin is playing. L look at this article. Still, it is telling that Lula flagged Sanders and AOC, who detractors insist are Democratic lackeys and purveyors of a thin girl electoralism hostile to genuine, genuine working class politics. So hold up. Hold up, Jacobin. You are telling me that Lula having a photo op with Bernie Sanders and AOC erases all of the criticism that we have of, of them. That is what they're saying here. They're saying that, oh my God, we're the detractors, mean RBN. They see what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Or Jimmy Dork, he's a bigger outlet than us. Let's, let's say Jimmy, because uh, we're still a small channel, right? So they see people like Jimmy and uh, the Convo Cow. They see Black Agenda Report. They see Gray Zone. They see RBN. They see the people who call these frauds out who they are, as who they are. Mm -hmm. People who support war. People who support the DHS, people who support the police, people who support, support the surveillance state. And they say, oh, none of that criticism that you have of them is real because they did a photo out with Lula. <laughs> Are you serious? This is what passes for journalistic standards in the boutique left. Do you guys see this? I'm going to read it again. It's telling that Lula flagged AOC and Bernie, who detractors insist are Democrats. Yeah, this lackeys. article is pretty That's terrible. exactly what they are. You, look, Jacobin, do you see AOC on Rachel Maddow covering for Joe Biden's ridiculous lies? They even started school did a video call now. Yeah. We we did a reaction live where we couldn't we didn't we didn't even have time to break down all the lies he was telling. But AOC went on there and said she, he's, they're doing amazing. You have the progressives that just came out and said they're not even willing to support a primary challenger against Biden because of the State of the Union. And we did a but segment Jacobin on that. is trying to refute the fact that they're Democratic lackeys. And let me—I only got the first three lines. Like this gets—it's it's incredible what comes out out of the boutique left, and they call us toxic for rebuking this nonsense. They are literally going directly at RBN, whether they know it or not. And maybe this may be aimed at Jimmy or someone else. But this is our. This is what we do. We call these people out, and they say. Anyway, I, let me continue their, their quote. <laughs> Who detractors insist are democratic lackeys and purveyors of a thin grilled electoralism hostile to genuine working class politics. It it is. Anyway, at tribunes of the left in the United States, this gesture is of a piece with Lula's longstanding insistence that electoral politics are a crucial vehicle for social progress and that building political power to deliver substantive improvements to poor and working class people and more important than, check this, ideological purity play. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm telling you guys right now, and I'm drawing my line in the sand here. There is no one who is an advocate of the workers, who is a leftist, who uses the term purity ploys and <laughs> I did that on purpose, so y'all was like, hey, I saw some comments. What? He's not even getting to the point. It was long-winded a little bit, but you, it was good information before he got to this point. Because no one who believes in anything solidly, they, we don't, on the left, use these terms. It's usually the people who are the ones on the outside. It's the ones who Oh, you're the one who says you want to send funding to Ukraine. That's okay. Those are the people who are saying that's purity test. Oh, you're okay with funding the Iron Dome. Oh, those are the people who are usually bringing up we shouldn't have purity tests. You get what I'm saying? So, but Nick explains it very well in this next 30 seconds here. Um, he breaks it down pretty well. So let's make sure you can hear all of this here. I'm telling you guys right now, and I'm drawing my line in the sand here. There is no one who is an advocate of the workers, who is a leftist, who uses the term purity ploys and purity politics. What does that even mean? What does that even mean to say, oh my God, you guys got purity tests? Let's let's let, let me 
bring up an example to explain what I mean here. Imagine if you are running in the Democratic Party, but you are, are strongly anti-gay. Like, I mean, like, you are, like, aggressively anti-gay. And then people call you out for being anti-gay, and you're like, oh, my God, you guys are your purity test. And you're like, what do you mean purity test? Imagine if you in the Republican Party, or no, let me, let me make it worse. Imagine if you're in the Libertarian Party, running in a party that believes in low taxes, no regulation, and you're like, you know what, I'm running the Libertarian Party. I want to change things up. I believe in high taxes. <laughs> I believe in hella government regulation. They'd be like, you're not a libertarian. And then you'd be like, oh my God, you guys in your purity place. Right. So, and I'm going to let it play some more. But the point is, what do you mean, purity test? Either you believe in something or you don't. And this is what I always say. This is the reason why socialism has been taken over. People who aren't socialists think they're socialists. Because it's not at all steeped in ideology. A uh, purity test. What do you mean? There's standards that make you a socialist. And there's things you do that make you not. Breaking a strike literally makes you not a socialist. So, again, people who bring up purity tests are usually the ones out of bounds of what they're trying to call themselves. I'm left, but I'm sending money to the Ukraine. I'm left, but I'm voting for more money to the police state. I'm left, but I'm voting to fund the Iron Dome. You see? People of beliefs, there's no such thing as purity tests. That's something made up for people who don't believe in every, and who don't believe and who don't have core beliefs, this is a better way, who don't have core beliefs, but still want to be given a pass to be called a leftist or a progressive. Get the fuck out of here, man. Anyway, it was long-winded. Let's let Nick finish out the point, and then we'll close this and let this be the introduction and uh, uh, get back to the main point, which is the Ohio derailment and the blame game, I guess you can call it. You guys see how ridiculous that is? You are either right on issues or you're wrong. You're either left or you're not on the left. This thing where people say you're purity testing. You're either right on these issues or you're not. And the AOC, Bernie, and the squad are factually wrong on these issues. The funding war. Apologizing for a guy who funded the border industrial complex war. But this is, no, and I'm telling you, that's my line of saying. No one who's actually a, a, a advocate of the worker ever uses the term purity test. <laughs> you mean standing for your value? <laughs> that's, that's literally unbelievable. Uh, but what do you guys... Uh, uh, you okay, go? I'll stop it there. Because um, I, I when, it, when I saw that comment, I instantly thought, because this literally was like two days ago, three days ago? Not even three days ago. So I'm like, wow, I remember how he broke that shit down on purity test. Um, and then we found, and I, uh, we saw the, vid uh, saw the video there. 